Hi, welcome to another Top 5 here at the MacGuffin Podcast. I'm Ed. And I'm Alan. And today we're going to talk about our Top 5 Dance Scenes in Film. Yes. That not, maybe not a whole movie, but at least one scene that got a dance, dazzled us. I, I love to dance, so I'm glad we did this subject. <laughs> Alright, let's you start. <laughs> I'll start off with my number 5. This is my number five right here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, my number five dance scene um, is a classic, and it is John Travolta's dance scene in Saturday Night, Saturday Night Fever. Um, I mean, this is the movie that made John Travolta a star, pretty much. And that scene where he's out in the disco doing his thing in that all-white suit, I mean, it just is one of those perfect moments. Okay. Absolutely. And it can completely captured the era of the time. Uh, John Travolta, again, was so, so good in that movie. That movie, a lot darker than I uh, remembered it to be. Gene Siskel was a huge fan of that movie. I think movie. it was his favorite film, actually. And uh, he, he was always talking about how Travolta should have won the Oscar for it. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Actually, I think I heard a, a, a rumor that he actually bought John Travolta's suit from that film. And, I mean, what more can you say about that scene in Saturday Night Fever? It's one and of the best. R.I.P. Robin Gibb? Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Well, my number five is not a, not a musical, but it's a great dance scene. And it's uh, the the dance scene from uh, Reservoir Dogs. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, the, the scene where he's about to cut off the ear. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what? You just can't hear that song without... I, I do that little dance every time. In the middle with you. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Of course, it's you know Michael Madsen doing it, just being one of the creepiest creations it's ever on film. Crazy psychos out there for and sure. That Blonde. that scene is all about tension. Mm -hmm. Just doing that little dance, where he's got nothing but Marvin in the in the chair, <laughs> just waiting for waiting for what's coming. Mm -hmm. And it's so so interesting how Tarantino directed that scene. You know, you kind of think that oh my gosh, it's one of the most intense violent scenes ever, and there's actually no violence. In, yeah, in he cuts scene. away just yeah, before the, the the ear comes off. Yeah, exactly. Very, very well done. But yeah, but every time it's stuck in the middle with you is on on the radio. I guess that's the guy. You got to do that little shuffle. Yeah, yeah, yep. perfect. All right, let's move on to my number four. Uh, my number four, um, keeping with the darker theme, uh, I'm going with the final dance number in Black Swan. Natalie Portman as Nina Sayers in that final scene where. She becomes she the dancer that she tries to be throughout the entire film. Again, Black Swan is the story of this dancer who is very good technically, but doesn't have the passion, doesn't have the emotion uh, to fill a role. And throughout that entire movie, she trying to earn, try to get it. And then at, finally, in that final scene, one of the, you know, very interesting, very well-made dance scenes. Um, of that year and of any year pretty much she just goes all out and pretty much becomes the quote-unquote black swan and i just love the the music the dancing the the way aronofsky put that thing together and then that that final shot of her jumping off of the ledge and then falling back down very beautiful and uh very well very well made so sad movie all about masturbating and getting caught sad movie but very well done <laughs> <laughs> it is no, it's good. Good choice. Um, my number four uh, is uh, a, a classic scene from the movie Royal Wedding, mm -hmm. uh, starring Fred Astaire, and it's that great scene with Fred Astaire in the coat rack, mm -hmm. and he's taken basically he's taken an inanimate object, and just with his own body motion is able to animate it. Mm -hmm. It's just his feet, his arms, and he's that's all. That's all Fred needed was. It, it, I mean. Yeah, granted, he and Ginger were terrific together, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying, he was so good, he could just throw around a, a coat rack and, so and give you a five-minute dance scene out of it. It's it's amazing. I mean, you have a coat rack, and I mean, what can you do for a coat he rack for a minute? He spins it, he minutes, dips you know? it, he throws his hat on, acts like he's on a date with it. It's, it's, it's charming and perfect. It's charming and elegant and just lovely, and Fred Astaire, he's just so awesome, and that is a great dance scene. Yeah. Uh, classic. Uh, it's been parodied before and, right. and everything, and it's memorable for a reason. Yeah, Fred was one of the, one of the best. Mm-hmm. Let's keep with Fred Astaire and uh, Miss Ginger Rogers for my number three. When those two get together, it's just awesome. Just great stuff. There's so many classic scenes that I could have uh, chose. I decided to choose the scene in Top Hat uh, to the song Dancing Cheek to Cheek. 
Oh, it's so, so great. You have Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, they're dancing in this fake, uh, fake Venice, and they're dancing amongst all these people in this little dance hall, and just magically, all of a sudden, there's no one around. And all of a sudden, they're just dancing by themselves all around that area, up and down. She, he's, you know, guiding her, dipping her. She's in that big, fluffy dress that's just shedding all over the place. She had to do everything he did, but in high heels and high backwards. High heels and backwards, and it's just so lovely and Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers when they danced they knew they were the best and they knew that they were the best together uh, just the look on their faces it's like yeah we're we're good you know and we're having a lot of fun doing what we do uh, best and I mean any Fred Astaire Ginger Rogers movie you're going to have a good time Top Hat uh, along with Swing Time to me are their best so. and that was back when the, those guys were so good they could take the long shot show the full body shot and they could float through the, through exactly. the frame They're instead so good. of didn't you didn't need trickery. to cut. Yep, you didn't need camera trickery. Yeah, so. good choice. Uh, another one of my charming favorites is from The Wizard of Oz. and I mean, you know, great, great classic movie. Mm -hmm. But my favorite character in The Wizard of Oz has always been the Tin Man. And his, <laughs> his scene, his... <laughs> with the, where he, uh, um, you know, the blows his... Uh, Top blows, off. Yeah, blows the steam. <laughs> yeah. I, I I love the t you know he's he's constantly you know needs more more oil and you know to open up his joints and he's constantly about to fall over mm -hmm. and it's I mean it's it's great physical comedy but turns it into dance while he's getting laughs I I I love that guy. Oh yeah yeah. I uh, I mean yeah they're they're you know the whole cast is great the movie's mm -hmm. great but. I love me some Tin Man. Sure. I mean, Tin Man, he's great. I mean, they work so well together and everything like that. I mean, yeah. there isn't really much you can say about that film that hasn't already been said. And that is a great scene and a lot of fun. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, my wife's personal favorite is Cowardly Lion, but I'm a Tin Man guy. Sweet. <laughs> All right, let's move on to my number two. Uh, my number two dance scene comes from one of my all-time favorite films, and it is the big ballet scene in The Red Shoes. Dancing, You're on a ballet theme tonight. Yes, it is a very much of a ballet thing. Dancing is a very difficult thing to do, but if you love it, you have to dance. For those people out there that love to dance um, and are dancers, The Red Shoes is a film that if you haven't seen, you must see. It's, it's all the about dance movie. it is the dance film. It's all about perfection and obsession and the love of your craft and giving up pretty much your life to do what you love. And the amazing thing about that ballet scene is that the ballet in the movie reflects what's happening in the film. The ballet is the ballet is the red shoes and it's all about this woman who puts on these red, red dancing shoes and continues to dance. The the shoes like engulfs her and makes her dance forever and ever and ever <clears throat> without stopping and that's the theme of the film. It's about this dancer who's torn between the love of the person she's with and the love of dance and it's just so amazing, so beautiful. Um, Michael Pressburg Powell. Powell and Pressburger, they did an amazing job with that movie. I, I love it. You know, when I think about The Red Shoes, I want to watch it right then and there and for those of people who love to dance, watch The Red Shoes. And so. everything Michael Powell did. Yeah. Um, my number two, I'm going to go with, you know, probably the most famous musical of all time, Singing in the Rain. And while Singing in the Rain is, you know, obviously the, that, that's, that song is the most famous, my personal favorite dance number in Singing in the Rain is Donald Connor doing yep. Make Him Laugh. Make Him Laugh, yep. That thing is, I, I mean, first of all, it's funny as hell, still holds up. And my God, how? Where did he get that energy? Oh, oh my gosh, he's like flipping, yeah. he's jumping. Ha, 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 crazy. Ha. When he's at the point where he's running, writhing around in circles on the floor, just going, ha 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 ha. Wow, I'm worn out just watching it, and I'm sitting there with a big, you know, bowl of chips in my in he's my lap. Just, I mean, he's the Energizer Bunny. He's yeah. flipping off this. He's flipping off this. He's jumping through the wall. Right, crashed just... through a wall. Yeah, I, I, I love that guy. I mean, yeah, great movie all around. But Donald O'Connor, man, that was. That was the stuff. Make Him Laugh is an excellent scene in Singing in the Rain. However, for my number one, I did have to go with that classic scene in Singing in the Rain where Gene Kelly, with his umbrella, just all by himself on that street, soaking wet, just splashing in the puddles, just not giving a care about what's happening. He's just completely in love. It's just one of those great happy perfect moments in film and it was made by one guy uh with an umbrella and it's just 
so so lovely and it's been everyone knows about that scene he so. and gene kelly when he choreographed that he actually choreographed the set to match his dance like where that puddle is when mm -hmm. he's doing the step off the curb step the into step, the puddle yeah yeah he he they they dug that hole to, to match where his footfalls were gonna be i mean it's that meticulous it's the, yep absolutely and i mean it's so memorable i can't I can't describe how many times I've had friends, you know, go on a lamppost and like hang and take yep. a picture. It's it's just so great. You know, there really isn't much you can say about singing in the rain and there isn't much you can say about that that scene. It's just perfect. Gene Kelly did his thing. Wonderful choice. My number one is from my favorite musical of all time, West Side Story. Mm. And while there's many things in it that are great, that for for sheer dance, it's the opening number. Yeah. Um with the with the gang's first appear Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the sharks and the jets, you know, uh, uh, first show up, and they turn, you know, kind of what looks like random menacing into dance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, riff at one point, you know, it does a flip off of a overhanging, I don't know, it's a pole or it, some sort of jungle bar <laughs> thing. Right. You know, they 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 turn, you know, threatening moves into into ballet, and it. I remember watching that the first time, going, my God, like I didn't know that you could do that with dance. The best thing about dance, the, the beautiful thing about it is being able to tell a story. And the, the opening scene of West Side Story, there's no words at all. Right. Uh, there's no words being sung, but yet you know, you have a sense of place and you understand the dynamic between those two groups of people. Those guys are, are, are just bursting out of their skins and it shows through the dance itself. Yep. I mean, by the end of that scene, alone you already know like what you yep. need to know about those two groups of people and pretty much sets up the rest of the film so yeah no absolutely mm -hmm. so you once you tell us what your favorite dance numbers are um at mcguffinpodcast.com uh tell us you know what we screwed up or tell us what you like and um we'll see you next time later